All right, guys. Logie Cam Ten here. Um, what I have today is something a little off the wall. Nothing unusual, though. Um, I just pulled some of this back out. I haven't touched it in a while. So, uh, what I have here is a battery in a box. That's a, uh, I believe, a thirty-five amp hour. Uh, lawn care battery um, out of it I have 12 gauge wire uh, Romex pulled it out of Romex actually and it's running into this uh, 400 watt Cobra inverter that's being uh, put through this plug to some more Romex into a uh, Toshiba three phase drive it's a half horsepower drive that comes out and is fed into a telemechanic um, contactor and then that gets fed into my um, the Baldor uh, one horse power motor which is uh, doesn't always make the VFD too happy to run it for uh, well to start it it doesn't like starting it but after it gets it started it runs just fine uh, for test purposes um, the contactor is wired in series with a momentary push button so I have to hold this down to to run the motor so uh, basically what you'll get at the end of this is um, well three phase power off of a 12 volt car battery um, the the reason that the the drive runs okay off of a uh, modified sine wave inverter is because it changes the voltage back into DC before it switches it back up to AC out as three phase. So all the voltage changes we're doing here is 12 volts to uh, about 110 volts, give or take, um, at 60 hertz, uh, modified sine wave coming out of here, going into the VFD taking it in as 120 volts modified sine wave again um, and then changing it to about uh, 370 volts DC and then switching that into a 240 volt AC three phase um, modified sine wave actually uh, pulse width modulated signal into the contactor which feeds straight through into the motor. The contactor is just acting as a switch. Um, so let's go ahead and run it. Go ahead and run. Okay. And turn it up. Now we are running at 15 hertz. That's kind of a noisy bearing, but it's running just fine. You can hear the uh, little inverter's fan is blowing. Pulls about uh, six tenths of an amp, and uh, it runs fine. Now, as you can see, I let go of the switch to the contactor while it's still in run. So as soon as I try to switch it back on, it's going to give me an error because the suddenly connected load makes it think it's going into overload. So, and the motor doesn't actually spin at all when you do that. So, turn it down. It requires kind of a gentle persuasion to get it to run, being that this horsepower VFD and this is a one horsepower motor, but I'll do it again just to show y'all. Let's hit run. Okay, contactor's on. And bring it up slowly. And I bring it to 75 hertz. Whoa, and 
if you try to change the frequency too quickly, it goes into overload. I guess it doesn't like that. But anyways, uh, for what it is, it runs okay. Um, more videos coming along soon, hopefully. Um, just been cleaning stuff up and uh, finding stuff that I haven't touched in a while. So, uh, Logicam 10 out. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I um, can't really think of anything else to say. So, that's it.